morning everybody it's Miss Judy and I have a card to show you today and I'll take you through the process of making this it is totally a theft from my part it, the card is called a buckle card and I was searching around YouTube and found um, a, a, a channel um, M A X A N D S H O J I. It's Lorraine from Card Creations, and it's called Base Card Seven. And she had great directions to do this card, and so I wanted to show you how. Uh, I started out with a card base that is the uh, five and a half by. Well, I cut a cut a um, eight and a half by eleven sheet in half. And then you score down the middle, and then you fold that in, <clears throat> and you trim off one and a half inches from one side of your flaps. Either side will do. So that makes the base for your buckle card. The next process is to get the inside flap ready, which I used a piece of um, close to my heart pear and partridge paper and I'm not going to put it down yet because I have to fix the buckle. So the buckle is the piece that you have cut off right here. You take that off and you fold it. She said one and a half. I did about one and three fourths for my little fold. You fold that under. I inked around that with some cocoa, uh, some chocolate ink from close to my heart <clears throat> and then you cut a flap decoration to go on top of that and this is about one and a half inches no it's uh, one and a fourth and it is about um, three and a fourth inches long so I, and I rounded the ends so you go ahead and you decorate your buckle <coughs> so I use the reverse side of this paper put that on there then take your inside flap and go ahead and put your tape around it this is the way she did it and it worked really well for me when I did my first card with this design you go ahead and put your tape on and before you adhere it to the card base you take your buckle and you decide where you want to place it. It's a, she suggested about an inch and a half from the top. So that's kind of where I'm going to put my buckle. Then you lay it on the base, that, that layer for the inside, and just adhere it with the tape that you already have on there. And then use another little bit of tape, and that goes on the inside of your card and put that down then you have your flap for your what's called the buckle the next thing that I did was decorate the outside flap using some more of the um, designer paper and I cut that <coughs> and I'm going to put that on the outside of the flap and this was a really, really neat card. She made a beautiful design. You should check out her YouTube channel, Max and Soji. Um, and um, so here's this part. Then you would take, um, <coughs> excuse me, an X-Acto knife, or I have a what they call a word window punch, and you punch an opening on the outside flap and what I did was just um, make two little marks on my paper as a little guide for where I wanted to punch mine and then I, and I took my punch looked for the little marks that I had made right there make sure it's straight up and down, or kind of straight, and then punch, I'm not real 
real cool. I'm punching these things upside down and backwards and inside out, but I will get it done. Get her done. Okay. Now you've created your opening for your buckle. And it slips right in like this. And you're almost there. The next thing I did was cut uh, using the uh, Art Philosophy cartridge uh, number 43. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> thought I had everything, but I didn't. It's the uh, little square with notches, and it's on page 63 in the Art Philosophy. And I did use um, the just a regular sizing from that one which is um, two inch square <clears throat> and I used and this is a sneak preview guys this is sneaky 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 preview this is the December stamp of the month from close to my heart it's called year-round cheer and it's got um, 12 little sentiments and uh, stamps that go with different parts of the year, different times of each, well, typically each month, there's something different. So I used the <clears throat> last one on here called Tis the Season, and I stamped that, and this car, uh, uh, stamp set will be available um, in December as the stamp of the month. So this is a little sneak preview. Um, but I stamped it using the chocolate ink, and I inked around the edges, and then I put a little bit of uh, glitz, glitter glitz, around the ornament to give it some little sparkle on the outside, because that's all I'm putting on the outside of this card. Now, I showed you guys <laughs> my big roll that I ordered of um, double-sided tape, uh, and it's probably about three inches bigger than this and I'm eating down at it using it up and um, it was twenty dollars to order this I got it from Amazon if any of you all want the address later on I'll, uh, or at some point just let me know and I'll send you but it's just a really good buy I think because mounting tape rolls are four or five dollars a piece and they're not uh, 30 yards <laughs> which this one is 30 yards of mounting tape and um, <clears throat> so I'm doing a double layer of mounting tape for my outside sentiment and I will get those two on I'm going to place it up here pull off the strips and, oops, got a, little, got a little off too high. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> so I want to make sure it's, it's going the correct way. And I will apply that up to the top. And this is all I'm going to do to the outside. Now I'm going to finish up the inside and show you what I did with that. Um, I took a... Um, well, here it is. I took a piece of the designer paper and I applied that to the inside and then I cut another of the, um, <coughs> it's the square five shape on page 63 in the um, art philosophy, but I did it in the Cricut craft room and extended it to make it the size I wanted. Uh, which was, um, let's see, two and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And that way it would fit on this part of my inside. So I'm going to adhere these down. And I, I really love this, this concept of the buckle card. It's so cute. And when you go to Lorraine, to her YouTube, you will find that she has a whole series of what she calls base cards. And I'm, I'm thinking there are about eight or nine um, that she has in her series. And I've 
<clears throat> been looking at most of them um, this weekend and getting ideas. Um, and I really appreciate all the work that she did doing this series because she's got some terrific shapes and her directions are just fantastic. Okay, here's my inside. And I used one of, oh, I'm so excited about this one. I used one of the stamps <coughs> from Cards TV. It's called Christmas Joy. And it's one of the new stamp sets by Miss Mary. It is so pretty. Uh, lots of sentiments. This really cute um, joy that's spelled out. Um, just some nice sentiments, stars, to and from. But the one that I used on my inside card, I wanted something that was just simple. Um, and I used the one that says um, simply, um, Merry Christmas. No. Wishing you. Wishing you. A very merry. Wishing you Merry Christmas. Memories. Is that the one I used? Oh, well, doesn't matter. <laughs> but I, again, did some of my cocoa ink. I inked that up. And Mary's stamps are such good, high-quality stamps. Uh, I've just never had any issues <laughs> with working with her stamps. Um, I'm going to put that up here. Ooh, pretty. Wishing you happy Christmas memories. So on the outside, I've got Tis the Season, and on the inside, wishing you happy Christmas memories. And there's plenty of room to do your sentiment there. So this is my card called the buckle card. You can find um, directions on Lorraine Card Creations YouTube site called M-A-X-A-N-D-S-H-O-J-I. So I'm hoping everybody has a wonderful day and thank you so much for coming by my channel. I appreciate it very much. Don't forget to look at my Close to My Heart website uh, have I mean um, yeah my site because I have a, a giveaway uh, I'm giving some of the organizational to tools that are new with the close to my heart this month a whole set of that for all who order any amount <laughs> during the month of October and November you will all be put in the drawing for that set of organizational tools two big boxes um, and two inserts and six craft boxes, little tiny craft boxes. So visit my blog, grammyjudies.blogspot.com. All the details are on there, and I will post this video on there also. Thanks a bunch, guys. I love talking with you, and I love talking to myself. Ta-ta!